Uh, good evening, viewers. Thank you to uh, uh, the second part of our nutritional talk uh, in this program of Building to Last. I want to appreciate our prophet even for this chance and opportunity that he has granted us even to share uh, what the Lord has given us. Uh, we are forever grateful, sir. Thank you, even our viewers. Welcome again. Uh, I'm so grateful that you're here today, and I have great panelists today. I have Phoebe Mwangangi. She's the accounting nutritional coordinator. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you very much, Pastor Cecilia. Amen. Uh, I have Jacinta Jeroge. She's a nutrition, nutritionist at uh, Nanyuki Teaching and Referral Hospital. Karibu, Jacinta. Thank you so much, Cecilia. All right. We stopped where we were last time. Now we want to talk today. I want us to talk a bit about uh, different age groups and what maybe you'd recommend as a nutrition. Now that you told me every, every other person cannot take like, we can't take the same type of food, we can't be taking the same portions, everybody has their special portions. And this day we want to talk about uh, different portions or different types of food that you'd recommend for different groups. Uh, let us begin with you, Mrs. Mwangangi. I want to say that we have got uh, different kinds of food groups. Okay. Uh, which, which we have them here. I know they may not be seen, uh, mm. or if we can display, but they're uh, here. But we have different kind of uh, food groups. One, we have grains, and uh, grains that uh, include grain tubers, the roots, and the cereals. All right. That mm -hmm. means that all of them, they are in one class. Mm -hmm. We are talking of uh, maize, we are talking of uh, millet, we are talking mm -hmm. of uh, potatoes, arrow roots. Mm -hmm. We are talking about all, all those. Uh -huh. They are in one class. Mm -hmm. Then we have what we call lentils and the passes. Mm -hmm. And passes. Lentils are um, kind of uh, beans. All kinds of beans are called lentils eh? mm. and passes. Mm -hmm. Maybe cowpeas, beans, anyway, dengus, all those they are in one class also. Okay. Then we have another class that we call the dairy and the dairy products. Mm -hmm. This um, it is milk and its product. products. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. We have nuts. Mm -hmm. Nuts they are also in their own class. Uh -huh. And the nuts, basically, they provide us with the also fat mm -hmm. and also they are also protein, plant mm -hmm. protein, mm -hmm. and they are also very very important mm -hmm. in our lives. So. We have around nine classes. Nine classes. And we have also beef. Beef, it is also by itself. Beef, fish, and also poultry. All right. Uh -huh. uh, they are divided it is because um, before people used to say they are taking balanced diet, but when they take, just they take like meat, yeah. they take like um, maragwe, they yeah. like like um, uh, all these things. They may take, or they are taking enanch. Mm -hmm. They take like uh, potatoes, they take like rice, they take like chapati, and it's just one thing. Yeah. <laughs> but when they are divided this like that, we you know that bit, if I'm yeah. taking this, at least I'm benefiting from this. Yeah. Then we have also um, uh, fruits, and the mm. fruits are divided to two. They are also red and orange kind of fruits. All right. <laughs> and also... Uh -huh. vegetables, uh -huh. Uh -huh. which are also orange. We know that yeah. vegetables which are also orange and they're red. Uh -huh. We are talking of tomatoes, carrots, those are vegetables. They are also classified together. All right. We have also dark green vegetables. Uh -huh. They are also in their own class. All right. Because you may take a carrot and it is a vegetable and you think you have gotten a vegetable, but you are missing dark green, green? vegetables. All right. All so right. they are also divided like that. Uh -huh. That you may know if I am having a red Vegetable, yeah. I must have also a dark green, green vegetable. vegetable. All right. Then we have other vegetables like cabbages, the water pew. All right. They are also classified in another class. All right. So those are classes. Yeah. When it comes to now the angels, yeah. we start with the with the with a baby or infant who has been born. Yeah. Our recommendation is that a baby who is born should be breastfed exclusively up mm -hmm. to six months. Exclusively. Yes, that right. means without water, without anything, mm -hmm. unless it has been prescribed by a doctor like medicine. Right. But ours, it is just breast milk. Breast milk has got anything a baby needs in life right. up to six months. All right. So that is our recommendation mm -hmm. for our ch uh, children zero to six months. All right. Then we come to six months and above. 
-hmm. We are talking of complementary. What are we complementing? We are, com uh, we are com uh, complementing mm. breast milk, which is now getting smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. And so a child is not getting enough. Mm -hmm. So they should get. And at the same time, at six months, um, breast milk, the iron, which was also stored for a baby mm. during pregnancy, it become exhausted at six months. All right. So they should be also complemented yeah. to such nutrient. All right. That it become divisions yeah. to such a nutrient. All right. So that is now zero to six, six months, months and one and uh, one. six months to up to around two years. Hey, they should I continue eat to breastfeed yeah. and not given other foods. To start with, when you are starting to complement a baby, yeah. you don't just give everything at a go. Because some mothers tend to give everything, because it's like they think when they are giving everything this mother, this child is growing very fast. Mm. So what they do, they may give potatoes, they are giving uh, pine pan, pan, um, what? pineapples, they are giving everything. Okay. Pumpkins, they are mm. there, they are given for a child. Yeah. That also you have to remember, the enzymes that do digestion for a baby, they are also immature. All so right. this baby may be given, is supposed to be given, Slowly and slowly. We say grandchild um, introduction, okay. which should be adequate. So mm. a baby should start with something like porridge. All right. And the porridge, I think we said the other time when we are here, we said should not have more than two grains. grains yeah. Should be just two, All right. the maximum. Mm. Then from there, when you make that porridge, you don't just give a full cup or a, baby, a cup of 200 uh, uh, 50 meals. Mm. You just start with a spoon. Just a spoon the past day. <laughs> okay. And then after starting with a spoon, then you continue to hard. Yeah. Upset gradually. Mm. Not just at once. All right. And you start adding just slowly, slowly. All right. What you gave today, tomorrow you may hard. Mm -hmm. And that, that orange, I said, you can add just something like a sugar for test. Mm. Then you can add something else, like uh, you can keep the milk separately because right. that it may bind the iron in, in wheat and not in wimby. Mm. So you can keep separately. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, for that one, mm. that uh, mother, many mothers do, they can keep that orange, then in the evening they can keep por uh, potatoes or a pumpkin. It is very wrong. You are going to confuse the tank taste. The tank test, that is tank yeah, 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 yeah. of the child. I'm getting it. And then they reach somewhere, they start refusing food. Oh, so what should you do? So you start one food at a go. All right. After some time, it's uh, when you introduce other foods. Okay. Slowly, gradually, slowly, yeah. slowly. So you're saying I introduce one food at a time? Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Jacinta, take us from there. Uh, what I can add uh, in... Uh, in those ages, yeah. uh, we call it a thousand days between pregnancy to two years. Yeah. That's where the mental, the growth of that child takes place. Mm. So if this child is under nutrition, even the brain will be affected, will be under okay. nutrition. So mm. even in school, oh, they nice. may lag. It wasn't most of our fault, yeah. They may lag <laughs> behind <laughs> yeah. because the, the brain did not grow well. When they were so we call it a thousand day from a thousand days to from two pregnancy years. to two years. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. So nutrition that time is very, very, very important okay. to that child. What exact food do you recommend for the brains especially? For the brain being personal here. Mm. For the brain you when you need make sure that uh, things like selenium. Selenium? Yes, mm -hmm. vitamin A. Vitamin A. Which is given even in our in our facilities for every child. Oh, okay, After okay. every six months, a child should be taken for clinic All right. to be given vitamin A. Mm -hmm. So they help. All right. So it is important. But it's not just only a, a specific nutrients, good nutrition. nutrition. The nutritional Balanced, status yeah. of that child. A healthy diet. Yes, okay. for that child. So it helps the, the brain. Take me two years and above. So two years and above, mm -hmm. make sure that uh, according to the food groups, mm -hmm. at least you have one source of animal protein All in right. your diet. Go back, yeah. A grain. A grain. A vegetable. Mm -hmm. A legume. So mm -hmm. it should 
And then breakfast is very important to a child. Yeah. It helps even they can be able to be active in school and all that. Yeah. So keeping before a child lives in your house, make yeah. sure they take a breakfast. All right. It will help them in their school. Okay. Then they should take water and also do exercise. It's not just sitting and oh, watching yeah. okay. television. No. No. Oh. A child should also take place in exercise. Okay. And also uh We're encouraging them to play. Yes. All right. And also uh and also sleeping. Ah, sleep, uh-huh. Yes, sleep is so important mm. to a child. It helps in mental this is stress. They are helps stressed. In... Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All so right. sleep uh-huh. is important. So we are talking to what age now? Above two years, even below two years. All right. Even Below one year, you can do some exercises. Right. A child, let the child okay, roll just in the house. Yeah. yeah, so it is important. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's take us to the next level. Now we're in adolescence. What should we give there? What should we eat? Yeah, for adolescence, we mm-hmm. know this is an age where the growth is very fast. Yeah, they grow very fast. There are a lot of things surrounding them. And emotionally, mm-hmm. uh, they are very active mm. in all things. And so they are supposed to, to eat well. As we demonstrated and we said about the grains, they have to make sure that they avoid the food. I, um, uh, the foods which are high in fat. Ah, all yes, right. which mm-hmm. are very high in fat, and especially the bad fat, as I talked and mm. you find that this uh, this stage, mm. the time they are just craving for chips, yeah, for sausages, yeah, true. and for yeah, everything. Yeah. Bread. Mm. One yes. boy eats a whole yeah. loaf of bread alone. And especially <laughs> to the boys. Eh? Yeah. To the boys at that age, mm. they really eat uh, very much. It is true. But at uh, this is a uh, time they will buy love also the non communicable diseases. Right. If they eat without. Um, physical activity. Okay, okay. And so our advice is that it's good as much as they eat, yeah. they have also to have physical activity. activities. All right. They have to avoid also eating. Somebody was asking how many eggs should they eat? Yeah. And you find that according to them, they may think that they can eat even two eggs at a sitting. Yeah. And also um, just for the whole week. Yeah. Every but, day two eggs. Yes. <laughs> but our advice. Uh, we are supposed to eat just one egg. And for the whole week, it's three eggs. A and whole Monday to Sunday, I only take yes, three eggs. Yes. And <laughs> more, maybe the eggs should be not very much fried, yeah. but also boiled. Or boiled and, rather than fried. Yes, because right. this is the age you may develop the non-communicable diseases. Okay. If you okay. don't take of what you are eating, yeah. and how you are also, we say active. of now, mm. the, the, how active you are. You are, yeah. Yeah, the expenditure. We say energy in and energy out. out. How are you? What kind of energy are you taking? And yeah. how much is it? Then are you are you taking out that energy? Yeah. And during, during this season, I think it's getting tough. Very they much. are locked in the house. They have nowhere to go. What would you advise now that you are talking about it? What we I have our teenagers say, in the house. Yeah. What I can yeah. say that. Um, she talked about exercise. Eh? Yeah. It's good to find something to do yeah. and to build up your, your body. You yeah. don't have to sit because mm. even when you sit, you become stressed. Yeah, again. And exercise is very important yeah. because they continue to think about their education. It's like mm. now they are being taught that they have to repeat another year. Yeah. And so some of them, they become more much stressed. Yeah. And the exercise is very, very important. They can find something to do. Even if they find maybe they up a rope. And yeah, every yeah. morning they wake Outside up. There, yeah. Yes, they have to become active. Yeah. And also the household skills that they have to do. Oh, yeah, involve yeah. them in the household. Yes. Uh, if works, you, yeah. you have something like uh, uh, maybe a small garden, engage them in that garden. Let yeah. them do that work. Mm-hmm. They should not sit throughout on the, the yeah. screen, just watching on the TV alone. Yeah. They have a lot of things to do. Mm. Let them wash their clothes. Yeah. Even those are small. Teach yeah. them to do that. Mm. Clean so the house. Clean the house and do yeah. everything. That's mm. part of the exercise. Yeah. It helps. It helps. And so after eating, they should not eat and just sit down. Yeah. Because the the energy will not be used. Yeah. As it's supposed to be. Oh, it will be right. stored in the body. 
So I think for them it's good to be very physical, to have physical activities yeah. that it may help them. Also, we know that exercise also help our mental. Mm -hmm. Most your exercise also it also opens your mental. All right. Yeah, you are not just thinking so much. Yeah. Your yeah, mind yeah. with a lot of things, but you just run about. But you walk the breeze walk. Yeah. You walk around. Mm. It make you also sleep well. All right. Uh, so it's mm. good. I advise them mm. that they should not eat mm -hmm. the processed foods again. Yes. yes. Let them not eat processed food. Mm -hmm. Let them not eat more portions that they don't require. All right. As That's we were strange. demonstrated the other day we were here, yeah. we saw the amount of carbohydrates. Yes. We saw the amount of protein. protein yeah. We saw the amount of, of vegetables. And you see most of our youth at that age, we do opposite. <laughs> they don't like vegetables. It is true. They yeah. don't like vegetables. Yeah. More of the carbohydrates. More of carbohydrates and the protein uh, and less than of, vegetables. Yeah, it is so true. let us start now. Train them of, earlier. Yeah, earlier. And you know, whatever you train them, as the Bible says, train a child when he's young, yeah. and they grow up, they will not forget. Yeah, as you true. train them as they are young, they will be remembering, I was taught to eat more of vegetables. Tables, it is true. And so I think it will reduce yeah. our non-communicable diseases. Yeah. They are very much in increase yeah. in our country, yeah. and especially at this around year, yeah. not, not in Nanyuki, but in Central. The non-communicable diseases are very high. Why? It is because of high eating of carbohydrates. Oh, yeah. You find somebody uh, will cook like um, <laughs> the plate, uh, <laughs> will cook yeah. like bananas and rice and mix with the... Oh, yeah, bananas, then you put, uh, you put uh, the, the potatoes. <coughs> All right, uh, Jacinta. Uh, I don't know. Do you have anything to add in those two groups? You've talked about the babies. We've talked about the just before we go to the to the middle. For adolescent, I can also add for women. Yeah. It is oh, for the ladies. Ladies, yeah. yeah. To eat a nylon rich food because they're, rich start, food. Yeah, they're, they're starting their menstrual period yeah, 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 and all yeah, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So it is important in that age to include yeah. that. All right. Take us to the next age. Uh, the next stage now we are talking about adulthood, yeah. which is now between 20 years to 59 years. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We are safe. Eh? Adulthood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in adulthood, mm -hmm. the most important thing, make sure that you eat three meals in a day. Three meals in a day. A healthy meal and then two snacks in a, in a day. Wait. You are saying when we are adults, we should take three meals, three meals in a day. Yeah. And yeah. then two snacks. And two snacks. Yes. <laughs> uh, the other important thing, avoid yeah. those saturated fat yeah, and refined, the, the refined, refined, foods. refined foods. All those limit your sugar, limit, limit your salt. Your, yeah. Because this is where now the, the communicable disease starts setting in as, in, right. as you go older. Okay. So if yeah. your nutrition is not well, mm. it will lead to those communicable diseases when you get old. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, there, there's something I wanted to ask uh, about about paper. How much paper is bad? Does paper create non-communicable diseases? We are talking of paper. Yeah. Uh, it is, in fact, part of vegetable. Oh, yeah. Someone told me yes. it brings hypertension. Um, maybe that could be a myth, but you see, too much yeah. of everything that is not which is good. Yeah. Too much of everything is dangerous. Mm. But what I know, it is it a has vegetative. some of the vitamins and the minerals, mm. and it also enhances metabolism. Mm. Ah, okay. It okay, enhances okay. metabolism. Mm. All right. So if you are able to eat just paper, it's good. All right. All yeah. right. Mm. Uh, so the, in that in that class, and we should just adhere to the same groups of food. Yeah. in that class and we should just maintain the same portions if yeah. possible mm -hmm. uh, actually it should be possible mm -hmm. uh, so take me to the next level I think um, the, the next aged, level yeah. Yeah, is about now 60 years and above Yeah, and uh, <coughs> 60 years above one thing I can say that um, these some of the people now the, some of the non-communicable diseases, they start also setting in. Yeah. And uh, one, I can say that they have to limit, they have to limit completely intake of sugars. Oh, intake completely of sugars. do away with sugar. Yeah. 
All right. You know what is there, sugar? Yeah. Apart from, um, it gives us that taste. Yeah. It does not do more harm. It does more harm to us eh? mm. because it is also reduces the body immunity. immunity yeah, so they can reduce the, the sugar intake. Yeah. And then also a lot of fat. Yeah. And uh, we are really emphasizing on saturated fat. Fat, yeah. It has to be reduced. Mm. They have to eat well. Yeah. <clears throat> and eating well, we are talking of also the food which is not uh, highly refined. Yeah. You have to avoid highly refined food. Mm -hmm. And I think we are talking this all across all the ages. Yeah. We are not encouraging highly refined food. Yeah. All of us, we have to eat the food which are, which are not refined. Yeah. Then at least when it comes to salt, they have to remit yeah. the, kind, the, the amount of salt that they are eating. Yeah. Because it may also end up also doing more harm. Um. Right. So it's good to reduce the salt intake. Yeah. And it's not for that group alone, it's also it's even across, for all of yeah. us. It's good to reduce the salt intake and the sugar and also the kind of fat we are taking. Also, we encourage them also to do, to engage in physical activity. Mm -hmm. Because this is the time also the body metabolism has gone very low. Yeah. Whatever they eat, no matter how little it is, it, the body takes it and it stores it. Because the met body yeah, metabolism, metabolism is very yeah. slow, very slow. So it's good for them to do kind of also exercise. Yeah. Because exercise, it also enhances the metabolism. Okay. It's good for them to do. Whether it's a walk, we were taught brisk walk mm. of that minute. Mm. It's an exercise. All right. Exercise is not when you run. Okay, yeah, yeah, huh? she said that. But that brisk walk is very important. All right. So they can choose what they can do. Mm. Others can go even for swimming, which is also very good. All right. Cycling ah, is good. All right. And also, because that the time also children are also have gone out of their house, yeah. <laughs> they are known, it's good to engage to some activities that yeah. you be, don't become depressed. Yeah. And also now, at that time, others may prepare also maybe choose of some foods, eh? Yeah. So it's good to make a very better and best choice, not choosing to eat like uh, muscle sausages, those processed things. Mm -hmm. eh? So it's good to leave them. Okay. So it's good for them to eat professionally. All right. Let them seek and device from their uh, a professional yeah. and nutritionist from not anybody All in right. the hospital from, from a nutritionist. Okay. That they may taught what am I supposed to eat? All right. It's good also to change their BMI at that particular time, mm. because the way it tends to come, like automatically. Yeah, it is true. It is yeah. because the body metabolism, mm. it is slowing down. Ah. All the organs are slowing down. down. And so it's good for them to come. Even if you are not sick, come and seek an advice yeah, right. from a professional. All right. And you can be taught what you can you do. Yeah. You can be taught what can, kind of exercises you can do. All right. Because not everyone you can do, maybe yeah. brisk walk, yeah. Not everybody will cycle, not yeah. everybody will do, but you can be taught. There okay. are some things you can do, even exercises you can do in your house. All right. And they can help you. All right. So the food we are talking, we are talking the food groups that we talked about. Mm -hmm. We talked about all this, we talked about lentils and grains and what have you. All right. They use, but our emphasis, they have to reduce sugar, they have Indeed. to reduce fat, they have to reduce salt, intake. Mm. Mm. Those are the things they have to reduce. All right. And also processed food they have to reduce. Mm. Then do physical Activities. All right. Yeah. It's decent. Uh, to add on that, mm. uh, elderly, uh, they lost, they lose their taste band. So you'll find them. They All want right. more sugar. They want low salt. They want, as in their taste band. So we will find someone right. wants a lot of sugar. Yeah. Other want a lot right. of salt, fat. So you need to be very careful about their preparation yeah. of their diet. Okay whatever they are eating. Yeah. And also I'll say that also calcium rich food is important for right. an elderly person mm -hmm. because the bone mass is being lost. All so right, calcium yeah. is important. Uh -huh. A glass of milk. Yeah. A glass can, of milk will do. You will do. Yeah. Then also they are they are they are likely to get anemia because iron absorption goes low. All right. Because of the something called gastric is produce less, which helps in absorption of iron in the body. Yeah. So they need to take iron-rich foods. All right. So that's what I'll add on it. Darling. During this age, yeah. this, the dementia, the arthritis, mm. what would you advise? Uh, what foods would help? Uh, for, 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 for bones and uh, for most of them will get even osteoporosis, the yeah. bone, whatever. That's yeah. why I'm saying 
a calcium rich okay. diet is important mm -hmm. uh, for their bones. Mm -hmm. So all right. arthritis ah. and all that. Oh, arthritis comes in there. All bones right. and uh -huh. all that, yeah. And for dementia, they are losing their memories. A well balanced diet will do. Will do. Yes. All right. They take well balanced diet, all then right. avoid stress, stressful issues. So yeah, all right, which is very hard. Uh -huh. Yeah. All they involve right. the, themselves to do activities. Yeah. Right. You talked about food groups. Talk to me about water. How important is water? Well, water is very, very critical, very important. It is one of the things that we cannot do without, or we can, may not survive. Maybe you can fast for seven days without food, but not without water. True. It is the water that make the food it is digested well. Without water, the food will not be digested. Mm. It is the same water that um, uh, cushions in between the cells. You know the water are called cells. Oh, yeah. And so when the cells do not get water, they become what we call hydration. And hydration, I mean dehydration. Mm -hmm. That is oh, without yeah. dehydration. Simple yeah. Dehydration is, means that uh, your, your body does not oh, wow. have adequate water. I'm a fluid. Mm. So water is very, very important in our day-to-day -day life. Yeah. And the recommendation is that the minimum or we are taking water. It can be different from different climate, mm. but the minimum that we recommend is around eight glasses. Mm. glasses of Do water. I just wake up in the morning and start one, two? Talk to me, Jacinta. Uh, <laughs> How do I take? <laughs> uh, for uh, mostly... Uh, it also depends with your weight. Ah, again? Yes. Yeah. All right. The recommended is 30 ml per your kg per body weight. Okay, okay. That's the recommended water. Oh, 30 ml per kg. Per kg. All yeah. right. That is the uh -huh. recommended water you're supposed to take in a day. Yeah. So, because even we'll have some will have some conditions, so they will not be able to take that much water. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, water you can't say specific. Just okay. But don't take... Oh, I just put it throughout the day. In, or I just take it in the morning, all of it, it's okay. No, ah. you are not supposed to take it, all of it, in the morning. All You're right. supposed uh, to take little, uh, the, not much. Yeah. So I it should be distributed throughout the day. I'm, throughout taking, the day, yeah. I'm taking fluid. Yeah. Uh, uh, Phoebe, uh, I, I take a whole thermos of tea, flask, eh? Is that equal to water? Can I just take that and disqualify water? Uh, no. You cannot take that and disqualify water. Mm. Though we know that tea, it has some kind of water. Yeah. When we are talking of water, we are talking of fluids. Yeah. Of which tea is part yeah. of it. Yeah. Fluids. We may get also other fluids like from, from also lemon. I mean from um, melon. Watermelon. Oh yeah, watermelon. Watermelon, it has a lot of water. Mm. So that is the water we are also talking about. Eh? Mm -hmm. Not just plain water alone. Yeah. Maybe you may take uh, a plain water, you may take a cup of tea, and we know a cup of tea, it has also water. Yeah. But we cannot uh, say that when you take tea, you replace it with water. Oh, plain okay. water is also very, very, very important. Or on its own is very yes, vital. Yes, it is very vital. So I can take all the other things and eliminate no, it? No, you cannot eliminate water. All right. Plain mm -hmm. is very important. Jacinta? We like taking githeri with tea. Is that okay? Or uh, immediately, you know, when I'm taking kaugali, they stay nearby. What do you say? That's our African culture. Or Kenyan, if I might say. Uh, first of all, I start with children. Yeah. Uh, in most setting, you'll find that the children, children yeah. <laughs> below two years, they started tea, yeah. which is not good. All right. Because uh, tea has some, uh, some nutrients which interferes with iron absorption. Yeah. So even taking meals with tea is not recommended. All so right. there will be uh, inhibition of some nutrient, nutrients. Right. So oh, you should okay. not take tea with, 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 with oh, food. food with the tea. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, some people ask, some people say that we should not take water before meals. Some recommend it to lose weight. Is that practical? That some when they take water, they get full so they don't eat a lot. Uh, to some extent, it's true. When All you right. take water, you'll, you'll feel fullness, full, yeah. so you'll not be able to take a lot of food. Yeah. So you can practice it. It's okay. But you see, water, you said, one, one of the important is to transport nutrients. Yeah. All right. All right. So, but we'll have to check your BMI. We go back to the 
you might be losing when you don't need to lose. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, question, Mrs. Mwangangi. Talk to me about sleep. How important is sleep and how much of it should I have? Sleep is very important. Uh, and uh, I tend to think that's why God created night and a day. Mm-hmm. So that we work through the day, mm. then we rest in the, during the night. And so sleep is very important. Uh, without sleep, you can get even depression. When you don't yeah. have adequate sleep, you can get in depression. When you don't get adequate sleep, you may end up even not performing well in all your work. Mm. Because your mind, it is the mind. You know when you are working, it's the mind that sends signals in whatever we do. Mm-hmm. And so the mind is asleep, you can't do anything. Mm. So what I say is sleep is very important. And the, the recommendation minimum is around eight hours. Eight Re- hours. Yeah, recommendation is about eight hours to have a good rest mm. that you may perform well. Mm-hmm. So that means that you have to sleep early. And yes. if you have to wake up to go for morning glory, yeah. you have to make sure that you sleep early and wake up after um, at least the, the eight hours, hours. The eight hours. All right. That you get adequate sleep. Mm. And you find that you will sleep well, the following day you'll perform well. All right. Even at your work. Your mind will be thinking well. When you don't get adequate sleep, you may not think well. All right. And you start also forgetting. Because the mind is really occupied, it is tired. All right. You know, our, our bodies are like a machine. Mm. They are working. When the machine, you overwork it, yeah, it then them. it can break. It's just like that. Mm. Don't overwork your body. Give it a rest. All right. So that the following day, you perform well. Right. So sleep, we recommend for about eight hours. Eight hours. Yes. Talk to Major Center. Yeah. Uh, I can add some um, something. Yeah. Uh, for for sleep also mm-hmm. depends with the age groups. Again. Yes. All right. For children, you can recommend even twelve to sixteen hours. All right. School going ten to thirteen hours. Yeah. So it goes with the age, but right. they recommended it eight hours. So it goes with the age when you're supposed to uh, sleep. Yeah. Is there a connection between my immunity and and sleep? Yes, there is. Mm-hmm. Talk to me about it. Yes, <laughs> as I've said, that sleep is very important. Eh? And it affects everything that else you do. Mm-hmm. Even when you don't sleep well, uh, your body immunity may be affected. Huh? Yeah. Because, you know, the body system is connected. Huh? It is not one system. Yeah. It is connected. You find that they are connected to one another even from, from the brain. All right. So when the brain is tired, mm. even if you are eating the body boosting foods, yeah. you find that they are, the body is not working well. It is true. Because the body is already tired. Yeah. When you are tired physically, it means also the systems they are also very tired. And so that means that the body system that boosts the immunity will not function as it's supposed to function. All right. So it's good to have enough sleep that your body may be well and function well All right. and boost the immunity. All right. As we come to the end of our program, I want to ask about a few myths. You said how many eggs per week? People are saying six. One each day. Uh, the recommended is three eggs in three a week. Three eggs in a week, all right. Mm-hmm. How dangerous is coffee? Uh, coffee is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything in excess is dangerous. Yeah. But still, coffee, coffee is important. Yeah. Also, it is dangerous when mm-hmm. you take too much of it. All right. So, uh, it's a stimulant. So, yeah. it, uh, it helps you to be alert. Yeah. So, if you take with the recommended need it helps you to be alert. alert. All right. But when you take too much of it, yeah. it has some consequences with mm. it. One of them being it's a diuretic. Diuretic means that it's like washing out. So okay. it might even wash out some nutrients out of your body. Really? Your body will be dehydrated. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So you should be very careful on much. The recommended uh, coffee intakes, we say that is 400 milligrams in a day. 400, that that's is enough. Uh, the, four the, the, the thing which is in coffee, it's called caffeine. All right. So that caffeine should be 400 milligrams in mm-hmm. a day. And that caffeine can also be in tea and also in your soda which you are taking. Oh, sodas, yeah. Yes. I wanted to ask about sodas and tea. Yes. So, so that, yeah. it has that caffeine in it. So yeah. you should be, ve- ve- be very careful because yeah. you'll t- 
in our African setting, you take coffee, you take tea, you yeah. take soda. Yeah. You take everything. So by the time you come in, the caffeine level is high. High, all right. So it, the, your heart will beat very fast, yeah. causing blood pressure yeah. and all that. For patients who have something we call GAD, they're not supposed to need it, to take it because it stimulated the acid production. So okay. they, they can need it for a prescription. Preconception age, mm -hmm. people who are preparing to have children is yes. not recommended. Coffee it be reduces done. the infertility uh -huh. level, yeah. but to some extent you should take, but not too much. much. All yeah. right. Uh huh. No. She can add something. You can add something. <clears throat> I think she have talked uh, almost everything, mm -hmm. but what I can say that uh, for people with hypertension mm. and there are also people who are aging, mm. it is not also good for them. Yeah, right. Because we have said that the systems are declining. Mm -hmm. And when they are declining, when you take like heartbeat, you start mm. having like palpitation. All right. Palpitation of the heart. Yeah. So for people who are aging and people with hypertension and another chronic disease, it's not good to take it. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last question. Avocados, do they make people fat? Uh, this no. is personal. Thank no. you. Yeah. Avocado does not make somebody to be fat mm -hmm. because they have good fat, which is called monosaturated fat, which okay. are very good. Mm -hmm. So avocado has good fat. All right. And then uh, even that carbohydrate, they say it is high. We say like in 100 grams, it contains like nine, nine grams, but mm -hmm. seven of it is fiber. All right. So it has oh, fiber. Fiber. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't add it with avocado. So it helps you to like extract those more fat in oh, your body. My. So yeah. fat, avocado does not add do it. All right. It is a very recommended fruit to partake. Mm. It has a lot of nutritional benefit mm. in it. All right. Yes. Uh. It, has also, uh, it has also potassium. Mm -hmm. And the potassium together with the, uh, ripe bananas and they also unripe bananas, they are potassium. And the potassium is a mineral which is very important. It works on your mind. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so taking avocado is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, another tricky question. They are saying the, 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 the tummy fat. The tummy fat is due to eating a lot of wheat. How true is this? And we are dropping bread, we are dropping chapatis, we are dropping everything. <laughs> Talk to me. Uh, I'll say... Uh, Yes, mm. to some extent. Yeah. Uh, because wheat, mm -hmm. a lot of wheat percentage is starch. Mm -hmm. So it's more of carbohydrate. So it has a lot of carbohydrate. So if ah. you take a lot of wheat, uh -huh. that's why we are saying everything is balanced. Don't take too much. Much of take, everything. Oh. Yes. And it's not all that bad that you are told you just drop it in the No, it has eat. some nutrition in it. All right. But what happens is that right now people are using the refined one. But if oh, you okay. take it uh, when it is whole, mm. it has some nutritional benefits. All right. So it is not like say that when you eat wheat, you'll get, yes, you'll get the tummy, yeah. but you should take in minimal in amounts. Your, your amounts. Uh, they say the mandazi has the baking powder. Mm. That is not recommended. How true is that? It makes you pluffy. Is that true? I think that one can be just a myth. Yeah. Because even bread, it has the baking powder. Oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. It and it's what Jacinda said. Just it, eh? yeah. It's not just as by wheat is bad. Yeah. Wheat is just carbohydrate. Wheat is just like ugali. ugali. Ah. Wheat is just like potatoes. Okay. So there's nothing that makes it when you eat it is when you have abdomen. Mm. There's nothing like that. Yeah. It's only that. How are you taking? What How portions? much of it? We are talking. We are talking about portions. Yeah. Only that when you are taking wheat is not that all the wheat products eh, we use with fat. Come on, it's all a party. right, but it has fat. Uh, all. Yeah. When All it, use fat. Yes. Right. When it's mandazi, it is fat. fat. You have used it. Yeah. When it is cake, Pumpkin, there is fat. fat. Cakes, you know, that a lot of, be, yeah. Yes. Okay, and maybe we that are, have talked about, sh and also sugar. When you sugar, come to yeah. mandazi, there is sugar, there is fat. Yeah. Cake, the same. Okay. And I've talked about, uh, about a lot of fat is mm. very dangerous and mm. the sugar. Okay. Sugar, in part, it is uh, what we call, and this processed, high glycemic index. 
mm. anglasminic index foods are the foods when they take in the body, they take a shorter time to be digested and to go to the bloodstream. All right. And then immediately the, from the bloodstream they give you energy, then they fall down so quickly. All right. It is because they are processed. Mm. And so it is, when it is processed, just the same. All just right. the same as uh, even ugali. All just right. the same as potatoes. All right. But it does not disqualify wheat. That is the one that makes people to have abdomen. Abdomen. Fat. Or to have the tummies. Yeah. It's not real. It comes because of maybe it is using fat, fat and, and sugar. And, sugar. and we have said that we have to reduce yeah. the kind of fat we are using and the sugars. All right. So we cannot disqualify it. It's bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, but everything in, in moderation. Thank you. Yeah. We have come to the end of our program, and uh, we are just grateful that you guys took your time, your busy schedule, and you are here. So I'll just give you time, one minute each, for a parting shot. Just one word you'd say as a nutritionist to the people there. Uh, one thing I'll say that mm -hmm. uh, excess, anything excess is junk. Wow. So mm. everything you should eat in moderation. balance, yeah, mm -hmm. in moderation. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. I want maybe to ask what she has said. Mm -hmm. It's good for us to eat well. All right. And eating well does not mean it's very expensive. Yeah. It means that you get the correct information yeah. from the professionals. From professionals. Come and seek the advice from the professionals. Yeah. That you may know how to eat. Mm. Others may be qualified very and say this is not a good food, it's food for the mm. poor, but that's not the case. Yeah. It is just a matter of balancing. What are you eating? Yeah. Are you taking uh, the energy which is needed? Yeah. Are you taking protein which is needed? Yeah. Are you taking the, the vitamins and yeah. the minerals yeah. which are needed? And we have explained about the food that yeah. you should come. Yeah. And so if you want to know more, we are here in Laikibia for you. Thing. Come and seek and get advice. A, a professional yes, from advice. the professional point of view. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, our viewers. Thank you for being here with us. I believe that your life will never be the same again. You are changed, you are transformed. I like what they have just said. Anything in excess is junk. And don't uh, disqualify yourself. Go to the professionals and hear what they have to say about your health. Uh, thank you so much. want to appreciate the prophet again, even as we come to the end of the program. And uh, we want to ask you, even you can partner with us, with our m -Pesa. Uh, the, the line is 848841. Uh, just in Pesa, and, and the Lord will bless you, even for that offering. Uh, we come to the end of the program. I want to say a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We glorify your name. Thank you because of our panelists. Thank you for the time they have sacrificed to share even their knowledge and wisdom on this platform, Lord. Thank you, dear Father, for the many that are going to hear this message, oh God. Father, I pray it will deliver someone from the quagmire they are in, even pertaining their health and their bodies, oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for the many that have been wondering what is the right and the right information, oh God. Now they have a way out to the glory and honor of your holy name. We give you all the praise and all the glory for in Jesus mighty name have we prayed and believed. Amen. Amen.